Hello, so today I've got with me a whole load of new reads that the good folks at Dorks Music have given me to test out through our Sax Show podcast. Uh, you can find it at thesaxshow.co.uk or we're on Facebook and Twitter as well. Um, I'm going to be trying out some of the most popular reads for classical saxophonists. Um, I'm going to be trying them all on my usual setup, which is a Selma Series 2 saxophone, Selma Concept mouthpiece and Van Dorum M.O. ligature. Um, first ones I'm going to try uh, are actually the reeds that I use myself most of the time, which are the traditional Van Doren blue box reeds. Um, I am going to use new reeds through all of them, um, just so you can see how they play straight out of the box. I like mine to play straight out of the box with no preparation, so that's how I'm going to test them. And here is a Van Doren blue box, strength three and a half to get us going. So that was the Van Doren traditional blue box read. Um, that was in a strength three and a half. You can hear that one plays pretty well straight out of the box. Um, and we're gonna use that kind of as the benchmark for all our other tests. Um, next up, I'm gonna try one of the new reads from Van Doren that they just brought out, the V21 series. Um, this is something I haven't really tried much before. Um, but the clarinet ones have been out through a little bit longer and I do tend to use them all the time on the clarinet. Um, so let's get one of these and see how it plays. So that was the Van Doren V21 read. Um, it actually feels very similar to the Blue Box reads to play. Um, to me it actually feels a little bit harder. Um, you might want to consider dropping down a strength. Um, for me I normally pick the softer reads um, through a box of V and a half Blue Boxes. Um, so I'd probably err uh, on the side of thinking of dropping down a strength to a 3 rather than a 3.5 on the V12s. Um, they do feel that with that added resistance, there's a little bit more depth to the sound, I think, as well. Um, it's slightly richer, but it possibly at the expense of the clarity you can get from a blue box. Um, so very similar, kind of just personal preference, which of those you'll prefer. Um, so next up, we're going to move on and try out a few of the different brands on the market. 
Um, and in fact, next up, I'm going to go to probably the biggest competitor to Van Doren, um, which is Didario. And we're going to look at some of the Didario reserve reads. Again, I'm going to try at three and a half of the Didario reserves. So that was the Didario Reserve reads. Again, that was a strength three and a half. Um, in a lot of ways, it feels quite similar to the Van Doren reads I've just played. The strength feels pretty much exactly the same as the blue box, which is always good for comparison. Um, to me, it feels a little bit reedier in the sound, and I think it's got a little bit more brightness and a little bit more edge to it. Um, so it really suit kind of crossover works, um, kind of classical works with a bit of jazz inflection in them, um, or something that just wants a bit more edge to the sound. So the final read that I'm going to try out now um, is a read that's caused much excitement in the saxophone world, is the Selma um, reads. So Selma, obviously known for their mouthpieces and saxophones, have just um, started producing reads again. Um, and they've got lots of high profile indoor seas of these. Um, I haven't tried these out yet, so I'm going to grab a box. Again, I'll go with the three and a half to start with, see how we get on. And let's see how these sound. So something to point out about these Selma reeds um, is whereas the Van Dorans and Dodarios come in boxes of 10, the Selma reeds um, come in smaller boxes, as you can see. They are incredibly swanky plastic boxes. And there you go, straight off, the box won't open. So, because the Selma 3.5s won't open, I've got a box of 3s here, which does open, although you can see in this one actually, the box is kind of falling apart too. Um, so whilst they're very swanky, I'm not particularly impressed by this Selma quality. Um, so let's see how the reeds play. So having finally gone into a box of the Selma reeds, um, I would say it's actually very nice to play. Um, and that strength three reeds that I was using there, 
it's actually quite similar strength-wise to the three and a half blue box that I was trying earlier. Um, so you might want to consider dropping down half the strength if you're using the Selmers. Um, it feels very easy to play. Um, it's got a nice sound across the range. Um, it feels almost, it's strange to describe it, it feels like it's slightly thicker than some of the Van Doren reeds in a way. It's got a nice richness to it and a resonance. Um, and that's possibly what makes them more resistant where you might want to drop down half the strength. Um, so overall, yeah, that's a nice Selma reed that we've got there. So you can see I've tried today the Blue Box reeds, the V21s, the Daddario reserves, and also the Selma reeds. They're all absolutely great reeds. Um, I think I said at the start, I usually play on the Blue Box Vandorans, but to be honest, I'd be perfectly happy playing on any of the ones that I tried today. And the best thing to do is try them all out for yourself, see which ones you like the feel of, like the sound of, um, and then take it from there. And you can, of course, pop into Dorks Music at any time and they'll have them all in stock and happy to help. So I hope you found that video useful just to hear the different sounds from the different reads. And please do check out The Sax Show at thesaxshow.co.uk or you can find us on facebook.com forward slash The Sax Show and also at The Sax Show on Twitter. Thanks for listening. <laughs>